Mr. Pearson? Hi there. Mr. Morgan. So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. Hi there. Hello, Arthur. Let's go, girl. Easy, easy. This way. Come on. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, 
Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the nah, Kaiserreich. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Uh -huh. Where is it? Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Uh, very valuable. Good? Not good yet. No. Yes, 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 yes. Don't even speak English. Somewhere. Okay, that should about cover things.
For some. Sun, slow down the sky, Lorena. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Arthur. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. 
Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. <sighs> Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. Look out! So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Here we are. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you 
possibly leave us alone. No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> your mouth, mister.
again. Not again. Where's that horse got to? It's a stage company lockbox. We don't got the key. <clears throat> what the hell? <laughs> you all right there? Ain't gonna harm Mister, you anymore. I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna wrap this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. But ain't stealing if it's already stolen. So I've been told.
some kind of problem here? Let's get them switched out then. Now, if you want to keep your head, you'll get down from that horse, okay? Easy. I'm getting now. Heads up! Up high!
Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. Shit. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing out here anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. Wish whiskey grew on trees. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this... Mayor, a uh, quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all, more fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves and the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Yes, this does look familiar. Oh, are we close to town? <laughs> Sir, you've rescued me from the depths. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. 
Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't no Driscoll. something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time!
some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some of them know the reason. Oh. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! Blackwater, see how things lie. Places crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and uh, pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. 
But we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. See if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Indeed. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Ooh. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Let's take a closer look. But not. Close, gentlemen. So, who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me.
Just quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take taken the one Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't, I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A flush. As always, gentlemen, I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Is he alive still? Yeah. Come on, focus. Come on! We need to get past these sons of bitches! Ah! Where did these sons of bitches come from? Camps up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Take them down. God damn army of these bastards. How much is Charles bound? Still time. Ah! Move up.
from here? Arthur. <laughs> You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share its the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please? I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Jesus! I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Arthur! Even oh, you, Arthur! Do you seem in a good you. mood? I am, son. I am. Here we go. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crown. Mr. McGuire, I'll keep them girls in line. So if I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have we lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Oh, come on, let's enjoy Welcome it. back, oh, Sean. here comes trouble. I know you I would, Arthur you Morgan. Your drinks are on me. Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> they suppose. always are when you You're ain't bad. Lonely lonely as ever, if I may say so. Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an Odrisco. Oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. Come on! How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let him have some friend. fun. He's Did been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed the party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall in the army fellas would spend all night talking about what they were gonna do the second they left the army oh, all kinds of things like oh I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a cook or well I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife <laughs> hell someone's like <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco <laughs> you know some shit like that you know how fellas is oh well, no offense but you know what every one of them did the second they left the army? Join the goddamn army again. Jesus Christ. I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving. And, and then they left. And then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a... You, the difference between a sheep and... A, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you... Well, you, the, you... That makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. 
Oh, you mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> 